Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the door is open. We have no information about what awaits us. Vault Tech says we're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Annual Review 2100. Another year down, our mission continues. Top issues. At current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever. But tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. What are you, a uh, dictator over here? Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loath to institute mandatory rationing, but in 2101, that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people, more than we anticipated. Top successes. The award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened egos, since everyone's so damn competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over Best Dental Hygiene Award. Oh, the irony. The senior staff has been exemplary, as always very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers placated, but another year down and we're still here. The Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The ball damn near broke the jukebox, but the energy in the atrium was just amazing. Hey, a little soccer, sorry, football action. Deleted files, uh-oh. No files found. What are you trying to hide, Overseer? Hmm. Play holiday. Overseer's log. And I'll take or, a drink. Should I say direct communication? Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years. It's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. Three of them. It blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. Is that where you get the uh, codes to launch them? I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. So I wanna launch some or missiles. Where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Alright. So now we gotta find the overseers somewhere. Oops, I want that. I need that tape. Did I get it already? I did. Okay. Alright. Now what? Can't search or anything. I want to play in first person or third person. You think it'll give me uh, an option? Oh, I guess that's another. I guess that just means there's another, another player. That, that little thingy. Go there. Can't sit here. Anything back there? Go this way. 
Sorry. Inside, survival will be easy with your construction and assembly mobile platform. Uh huh. Cab. So catchy. The cab is instrumental to the rebuilding of America. One jetless and using rusty shack at a time. So hopefully, you know, one of my biggest complaints when I started playing Fallout 4 was like, was having, it almost seemed like you had to build a settlement. And uh, you couldn't, it was kind of hard to get away from it. And then of course the constant having to protect the different settlements. Um, so hopefully this is a little bit different with that. You don't exactly have to build a, a giant settlement. I guess you have the option to. We'll find out, I guess. Now this game, I, I purposely kind of didn't read too much about this game when it came out. Uh, I read the bare minimum just because I wanted to be surprised by it and didn't really want to know too much about it. It was really at a certain point, who cares? If you're a fan of the Fallout series, you're probably going to get this game. I remember everybody was up in arms about the uh, online nature of it and the, you know, is it going to be a multi, you know, MMORPG or something like that? And But supposedly each server only has like 30 or so people on it, so and we'll see how it plays out, I guess. Personnel terminal. Final notice. If anyone is found accessing this terminal and is not a member of the personnel department, you will be immediately reported to the security chief. No exceptions. Black. Correspondence. Missing Nuka Cola Cherry. Just because we're leaving doesn't give any of you the right to steal from my stash of Nuka Cola Cherry. I've been rationing those bottles for over 20 years. If I catch any of you, so help me God, there will be consequences. This guy sounds like a jerk. About my reassignment. I realize that it may seem trivial in light of present circumstances, but I would greatly appreciate my reassignment being processed before Reclamation Day. I have worked many years to pass all written, verbal, and physical tests to become a sanitation engineer. A janitor. I have a doctorate of engineering from GSU, and I don't want to end my tenure at our Vault 76 as a soda jerk. Please let me have the accolades I have earned. Thanks in advance. <laughs> Purge all records. Vault Tech's reclamation procedure is very clear. All records must be purged before our day. To be clear, after our reclamation day, there will be no personnel department. There will be no Vault 76. Any of the projects you're in the middle of are done. If you, for some reason, can't find the time to erase your files, I'll send one I'll send someone over to do it for you. You can bring it up to the overseer if you like. Okay. Personnel files. Oh man. <coughs> All files deleted. Thank god, I really didn't feel like reading much more. Villanueva R. Previous occupation senior VP, Gibraltar Inc. Education, Doctorate of Applied Communications, Cambridge. Accomplishments. White House Communication Director, 6669. National Debate Champion, 56. Current Occupation, Barber. Vince A. Previous Occupation, Colonel, USAF. Education, BS in Aerospace Engineering, West Point. Accomplishments. Deputy Director of Strategic Planning, JCOS. Medal of Honor, 71. Olympic Bronze Medal, Decathlon, 60. Current occupation security officer. So when you come to the vault, you're going to be doing a job that uh, well below what you're um, qualified for. Volkmer N. Previous occupation, Dean of Physics, VTU. Education Director of Applied Mathematics, CIT. Doctor of Nuclear Engineering, CIT. Accomplishments, Nobel. Noble Laureate Physics 51. I wonder if that's a copyright thing. You can't use actual Nobel. Current Occupation Chief Technician Maintenance. Alright. Let's get out of here. You, sir, possess 
the skills necessary to accomplish anything. I'm sure of this. Park cards. All right, let's see what we got with these things. All right, what makes you special? Charisma is your ability to lead and help others. It allows you to share higher point perks and also affects your rewards from group quests and prizes when you barter. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects your ability to hack terminals, the condition and durability of items that you craft, and the return you get from scrapping. Okay. Agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in vats and your ability to sneak. Luck. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune and affects the recharge rate of critical hits as well as the condition and durability of items that you loot. Strength. Strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. Perception affects your awareness of nearby enemies, your ability to detect stealthy movement, and your weapon accuracy in vats. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health, the action point drain from sprinting, and your res resistance to disease. Alright, I'm going to start off with the strength. Gladiator. Your one-handed melee damages now do 10... plus 10% damage. Okay. Okay. Concentrated fire. Vats now targets limbs. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Right. Lead belly. You take 30% less radiation from eating or drinking. When you're on a team, gain 5% more experience. <coughs> First aid. Stim packs are sore. 15% more lost health. Agility. Action points regenerate 15% faster. And luck, pharma, pharma. 40% chance to find extra first aid chems when you search a chem container. I think. I might need that as I'm starting out. We'll see. Alright, I'll give this a shot here. I assume I'm going to need that. Okay. Ooh, did it level up? Yeah, level up. Alright, so what does that mean now? Alright, now can I save any, oh, okay, we got a map here. Press the options men options button and it goes right to the map. tell you what's what yet. Maybe you have to discover those places first? I guess so. R1 social. I guess these are the people that are on here. Yep, there's Houdini. Take me to Venus. So I guess these are all the people that are on my thing here. Yeah, not too many. And... Menu... Is there no save button? Alright, 
let's resume challenges. What challenges are there? Ending in 14 hours and 50 minutes. Daily, weekly. Oh, look at this stuff. Okay. Boil water. Zero out of five. Claim a workshop. Collect wood. Destroy robots. Level up. I already leveled up. Weekly. Claim the workshop. Tyler County Fairgrounds. Complete defense. Okay, so these are like server, server event kind of things. Interesting. Okay. Resume. Can't get up there. Now what if I want to put on my party hat here? Let's see. Items. Peril. Glasses and a party hat. Oh yeah, look at that cool guy. No, it's ruining my Don Quixote-ness. So let's get rid of that shit. Doesn't seem to be adding any armor or defense bonuses. So, goodbye. <coughs> well, we're getting to the exit here. Got the little control room. Uh-oh. It's opening. Alright, but I'm not ready to leave yet. Oh, hey! Later, Azora Sanskrit. Anything in here? We've got another terminal. More reading. Just what we want. Makes for a compelling video. Vault 76 security instructions. Vault 76 is one of the most highly valuable and important vaults in our network. As such, these orders must be obeyed at all costs. The future of America is at stake. Upon receiving the activation notice, your team is authorized to use lethal force. Any obstacle or threat that stands between you and getting vault residents safely inside the vault must be dealt with decisively. Only authorized residents are allowed inside all other personnel should be considered enemy combatants. The overseer has special instructions after the activation notice. As soon as the entry procedures are complete, your team must stow all weapons in the specified containers. Further orders will then be dispensed. Trust your overseer. Obey your overseer. Know that each and every member of your team was selected specifically for this assignment because of Vault Tech's faith in you. If you work together, you will succeed. Okay. Incident reports. Oh yeah, let's see who, let's see who the fuck ups are. Drunk and disorderly. Jill caught M. Thompson singing loudly during the night cycle. He got into the reclamation party stores and borrowed a six pack. Yeah, M. Thompson's a drunk. The rules say that the theft mandates lockdown. But what's the point? In two days everyone's out anyhow. Threw Thompson into holding cell to sleep it off. Alright, I'll drink to you, Mr. Thompson. Assault investigated. Uh oh. Nakamura investigated a complaint filed by her old friend Jake. Jake claimed that E. Jefferson shoved him with intent to commit bodily injury. Nakamura found a witness, and Jake was gently shoved out of the way after he was laying into Jefferson about being an, in an ineffectual ass. Asked the chief whether we could nail Jake for filing a false report. Chief said that Jake technically, technically was assaulted, though, so it's dropped. God, I hate lawyers. Even in vault tech, lawyers suck. Alright. Unauthorized access investigation. Terminal 23B was hacked last night. Sandy investigated and we've got no idea who did it. No cameras in this place? The reclamation files were accessed, however, which has the chief furious. 
What does he expect? Half the res half the resies are goddamn geniuses. How are we supposed to keep them out of restricted files? I guess resies means residents. Doubled up the shift so we have more eyes out there. Like that'll help. Half the resies. Theft investigated. Another claim from Jake. Oh, this Jake's a pain in the ass here. Maybe he should be locked up. Again. Another claim from Jake. Again. Sent Nakamura over. She's the only one that doesn't want to strangle the guy. Jake claims he's missing one box of sugar bombs from his room. Hey, sugar bombs are a precious commodity. He's demanding we investigate it. One box of sugar bombs told Nakamura to drop the investigation. We're, with reclamation coming, we have far more important things to do. Listen. Sugar bombs are life. Security logs. Final entry. 25 years of service, no KIAs, and one hell of a send-off. I made one last plea to arm the resis before we open. Denied. My solemn hope is generations from now, visitors will come to 76 and read this and know how dedicated their forefathers were. How we regrew America from the ashes. But I must admit, I'm afraid as well. If some of the experiments in other vaults go wrong, it can give you nightmares. And that's only the things I know about. If we can only stick together, work together, I think we stand a chance. Keeping a lid on it. <clears throat> Had to lock down Casey for blabbing about the activation notice. The cat's already out of the bag, but orders are orders. Procedure is we announce tomorrow, but you can feel the excitement. The team keeps asking what to expect out there. The nukes knocked out our external sensors, so we're blind. Only the secondary Geiger counters are operational. Scuttlebutt gone wild. Well, that sounds like a, you know, girls gone wild. Lots of whispering of who's re of who's grouping up with who after reclamation. I worry that the biggest threat to the project isn't any threat we'll face out there. It's from within. The resis are a formidable, formidable lot, but give them free reign and Lord help us. All right, rundown complete. Team tore, th team tore through the activation notice checklist. Logs wiped. Non-essential gear secured. Reclamation packages acquired, etc. The whole procedure went down in record time, like we've been practicing for years. Some grumbling about unleashing the resis without the overseer keep. Ke uh, excuse me. Some grumbling about the unleashing, some grumbling about <laughs> unleashing the resis without the overseer keeping them in check. But overall, a good performance. Ugh. Don't drink and try to read <laughs> terminal entries. All right. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. Sorry for stumbling over that. Let's see. I wonder if it'll change once you get out of the vault that you can search more stuff. Not a whole lot down here. Goodbye. Hey. Ciao. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Wait till I get up there, you fuck. Vaya con Dios. Buen viaje. They grow up so fast. Peace out, Alderton. Take care of yourself. All right. It's a brave new world. Let's do it. No, see you on the other side. Don Quixote. Clothing can be worn over any armor pieces you have equipped. Travel Appalachia in style. All right. So now we are entering America. I found a bunch of radio signals. Reclamation date is complete. Trophy earned. Quest started to first contact. Okay, there's the outside of Vault 76. I gotta, now I gotta find the overseer. There's the light, my pit boy light. Okay, I think we're gonna end this video there. So we've explored Vault 76. Took a look at the, at the character generation. Read all the terminals. I'm sure you guys enjoyed that. And uh, now. 
We're going to get ready to go out and explore this brave new world. And nuke some fuckers. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for this episode of Miscast Gaming. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you get notified of all future content. And don't forget to head over to miscastentertainment.com where you can read some great articles and purchase some cool merch you see us wearing on our shows. Thanks for watching and see you next time.